For years, the vibrant image of Biggie Smalls' debut album graced the walls at the corner of Sudam Street and Bushwick. What I like about the murals, it, uh, what I like about this neighborhood specifically is uh, how accepting of artwork we tend to be. And adored by resident James McKenna, who cherishes the neighborhood's artistic spirit. I love seeing all of the art throughout Brooklyn. Hannah, a recent Bushwick arrival, viewed the mural as a vibrant thread woven into the rich tapestry of Brooklyn, appreciating its contribution to the borough's unique character. I know some people feel certain ways about it, but I just think it's such a great sense of culture and community. However, the arrival of the Emerald Cannabis Dispensary last week brought uncertainty. Regulations from the Office of Cannabis Management seemingly threatened the mural's existence, forcing the dispensary to cover up the artwork. That's when the shop used anti-graffiti paint over the mural. Christina Di Giovanni, the dispensary CEO, shared the community's dismay. We love the mural. We love the neighborhood. Di Giovanni emphasizing their forced cover-up a bitter pill to swallow, but hope bloomed anew. A miscommunication with the Office of Cannabis Management led to confusion after they said it violated advertising regulations. We're glad to clear up that miscommunication. And over the weekend, the dispensary power washed the anti-graffiti paint off and restored the mural, revealing the beloved image of Biggie Small's debut album once more. All of this as the mural takes back its rightful place in Bushwick. And we're, we're glad to move forward on this and we're glad to bring it back. Well, I think it's great that they were able to get it back up there.